What is up, guys? Mr. Duck123 and. Bacon Lover935 out here. Welcome back to another video. Um, today's video is going to be um, me and my boy here. We're going to be doing a podcast. Uh, this is going to be uploaded on my channel and his channel. So, um, yeah, so today's podcast is going to be about Apex Legends yeah, and Fortnite. So, um, Fortnite became the uh, a very big game very quick. Within the first few weeks that it came out, right? First of all, um, the building in Fortnite. No. That's ass. I hate the building aspect, though. Yeah. It's so, like, it's annoying, honestly. Yeah, so, uh, with the building part of Fortnite... The playstyle is pretty ass, too. Yeah. Just that's that's overall... our opinion. Um, but, basically, the, the whole layout of the building, in my opinion, I think it's really crappy. I don't like it. And, it... It's really hard for some players to get good at that game because some people practice for, like, hours and hours on end, and they are, like, building faster than ever, so... And then the people that just want to play the game just normally, they can't get a chance to actually, like, you know, live live to what the game is, so... Yeah. I think that Apex Legend has the advantage right there for, um... Better no gameplay. Building. Better yeah. gameplay. The Fortnite gameplay is really bad, in my opinion. It's yeah. horrible. Yeah, so... Also, it's not at all realistic. Yeah. Apex is somewhat realistic. Yeah, also the graphics. Um, yes. Now, Fortnite is, uh, like... I don't know. They said it was supposed to be something with, like... Um, you know, I heard this one YouTuber say that, um, that Apex was... Um, is not going to get more money spent on because it doesn't look as kiddy as, like, Fortnite. Yeah, it's and like so when people's moms walk in, they're going to be like, oh, that's a violent game you're playing. I'm not going to spend money on that. So It's not even that violent, to be honest. Yeah. It's not even that much. I think it's like barely any blood. Yeah, so um, I think the advantage goes for Fortnite there for money. Way more money yeah, is Fortnite's coming Fortnite's always going to have more money just because yeah. now, kids are just, just buy everything. Mm -hmm. Also, um... With Apex um, coming out on the first day, um, it had the spotlight for like a week. It it had like it was it was for like two weeks that it had the spotlight. Yeah, it was yeah. it was the game that everyone loved. So it's amazing, bro. It's good. Yeah. So um, after some um, video, uh, we might put some gameplay, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, for the um, for the um, I didn't okay. For um, Apex Legends coming out, it had a very good spotlight for a while. And then Fortnite, uh, with that releasing of the uh, Season 8 uh, free Battle Pass thing, where you have to, like, challenges or something. Yeah, they, Epic Games just did that so they could get over Apex. Yeah. So, That's kind of dirty, to be honest. Yeah, so it's basically a battle between the two right now. Yeah, bro. Apex hasn't really been doing much. They did add new jump pads. Now, these jump pads in Apex are actually a tribute to the new operator. Daily said it one time. What was it? Oh, yeah. Um, I think it was, like, Nox. I don't know. I think it was, like, some, like, element name. Yeah, it was... A, it was, like, Octane pads or something? Yeah, Octane. Or, uh, yeah, something like that. There Anyway, <laughs> there's a lot of new operators I heard that are coming out. Yeah, bro. So, um, I really hope that, um, they bring those out soon because... It I might would, blow up. Yeah, and I would love to see more. Also, um, there are... Now, let's talk about glitches. Okay. Fortnite has... Minimal glitches? Yeah, not very many. I mean, it's because it's an old game that's been out for, like, two years, probably. Yeah, so... But, like, Apex, like, I'd say every maybe 20 games me and Mr. Duck play, there's a running glitch where you're just, like, slow as all hell and you can't move. Yeah, so with that glitch, your reload time is slower, your um, run time is slower, sliding too. your sliding is slower, your... Um, it's like you're running in mud. Pretty yeah, much. it's pretty much like you're running in mud. And also with that, there is um, there's also some uh, hitbox, or not hitbox, um, <coughs> uh, hit glitches where you hit like a ton of shots and they don't hit, like your crosshairs on them, they don't hit. That could either be you not hitting your shots, or um, that could just be the game. Because this game does have a lot of glitches as of yeah, now. Yeah, it's it still out. really glitchy. It's still yeah. fairly new. So. It's, yeah, it's still fairly new. It's been out for like a month or month and a half, two months. So, um, 
Yeah, with the with the aspect of glitches, Fortnite gets the advantage there. Yeah, Fortnite Apex has virtually more glitches. Yeah, so Apex will keep on building up. It will um it'll get better over the time. So um with that being said, let's talk about the um people you could play as. Now, a default in Fortnite would be just a no skin. There's not really any abilities in Fortnite. That's the thing. Yeah. Is Apex Legends they have. They're unique. The operators are unique, or the legends are yeah, unique. Yeah, exactly. So, and they do their own thing that helps your team. Exactly. Fortnite, there's none of that. It's just trashy skins. Yeah, so uh, in our opinion, we both hate Fortnite, if you it's can't tell already. Bro. Um. Anyway, so uh, as we were saying, the um operators, or I don't know what you call them in Fortnite. Anyway, legends and... Uh, um, They're just characters, the skin. honestly. Yeah, just all the characters in general. So, in Apex Legends, you have abilities. You have eight operators right now. Eight, right? Yeah. Yeah, eight, I think. Eight operators that have their own special ability, which also... Um, they're pretty, that, like... They're pretty, like, uh... Original. Like, they're not just, like, the typical... And they're not, like, futuristic. They're, like... Well, they are. But they're not, like, But it's, like, top. special. Like, it's not yeah. like, just normal. Like, it's pretty different. So... Uh, you know, Gibraltar, which we like to make fun of a lot, um, has a dome shield, lifeline has a heal drone, Wraith has, like, a void thing, um, Bloodhound has, like, a thermal thing, so each of those, um, legends special ability contributes to your team, and if you have a full squad of people that is gonna help with you play the game, that, that's just awesome, if you can get some of your friends up in, and, uh, There's do no that. solos or duos yet. So let's... Yeah, let's talk about that. So first of all, <coughs> Fortnite has solos, duos. I think they have trios and they have squads. So um, uh, Apex only has trios as of now. I don't think they're going to be adding anything else, which is kind of dumb. I mean, but... it's kind of copying Fortnite, but then yeah. then again, but then again, well, they by could. The way, all games have that. Yeah, they could just add duos, or they could just add solos, or they yeah. could just add squads, but. With that, um, I feel like the whole point of the game, which is a three squad, on the loading screen, they would have to change the loading screen and everything. I think the loading screen should stay the, stay the same, just for like, you know, just the whole aspect of the game. If you look on the loading screen of Apex, I'll pop a picture up right now, um, there is Wraith, Bloodhound, and Gibraltar. Now that is three people, meant to be three people in one squad, so I do not think they're going to be changing anything with um, squads or anything like that, yeah. so Fortnite does get the advantage there, I'd say. It really depends how you like to play. If I, if you have a lot of friends that play with you, um, it's fun. then with Apex, it's good. But if you have, like, nobody that plays the game, either you don't have a lot of friends or you don't, like... Nobody plays it. Yeah, nobody plays it. So, uh, I think, yeah, Fortnite gets the advantage there. Now, let's talk about playstyle. Now, playstyle, with Apex, you have to be a lot more, I'd say, stealthy than Fortnite, yeah. I'd say. Um, now, in Fortnite, you have to hear footsteps. Same with Apex. Also, there's no building, so there's no, like, real competition. Well, there is competition, but with uh, the building aspect of the game, most people hate that. They don't like it. And it just gets people really mad. So, um, I feel like Apex does win for gameplay. Now, let me tell you why. Um, they have, um, you can, I don't, I don't know if you can do this in Fortnite, but the field of view. No, I don't think you do that in Fortnite. Yeah, no, so. Fortnite's just third person, which is ass. Like, I actually, like, oh, third yeah. person is awful. Yeah, so, <laughs> especially for a shooter game like that, it's based off of shooting. Like, GTA is not based off of shooting. It's, like, Grand Theft and stuff. It's great for GTA. But for Fortnite, me and me and Frank really don't, like... Honestly, there's nothing I really like about Fortnite. To be honest. Yeah, and um, there's also, like, like in, in Apex, you're first person. It, it's just like playing Call of Duty Black Ops 4 or Titanfall or anything yeah. like that. It's super awesome. You could change your field of view now if you don't know what that is. That is your like your field of view. It's like so, zooming in kind of. Yeah, so if your field of view is at seventy, which is the lowest point, it'll be zoomed in. If it is a if it is at hundred and ten, it'll be 
the Max. Like That's PC. what I have it at. Yeah, so it's like a PC thing. I have that setting on, so I it's like I'm a PC player, but... The thing is with Apex is, like, you have to hit your shots. You have to rely on hitting your shots. You can't build and just take cover. Like, in Fortnite, you can just build and then you have to get behind cover and get another angle on them. You have to hit your shots in Apex or else you're dead. Yeah, so... Um... So yeah, um, what else would there be to talk about? Guns. There's yeah, guns. Okay, Fortnite has got the type of guns that are legendary, rare, common stuff like that. I don't like that. I really don't. I feel like it's just too complicated. Now with picking up items in Apex, super easy. Shield cell. Once you look, figure out what that does, easy. You always pick it up. Syringes. Once you figure out what that does and how much it does for you, you pick it up. You know what it does. With all the guns in Apex, they're not common, they're not rare, they're not <coughs> legendary, they're not epic. It's just they're the just, gun. It's just the gun. The guns don't have rarities, it's just yeah. armor and stuff that has rarities. Now, I don't know if Fortnite um, does their um, rounds, like sorts their rounds. No, Apex has heavy rounds, light rounds, um, shotgun, shotgun ammo, energy. and energy. Yeah. And like the 50 Kraber. Yeah, and the Mastiff, but you cannot get um, rounds for those. No. Um... Also, care packages drop every round. Now, every round, there's a ring. Yeah. Fortnite and Apex have a ring. Um, well, actually, so... in Fortnite, care packages do drop, but not as yeah. frequently. Yeah, okay, so yeah. Um, also, the um, the Fortnite ring actually does a lot more damage than Apex does. It's, it's insane. It does, like, 10 damage as a yeah, first one. Yeah, per tick. So, um, if you're on, like, the last round with, like, two squads left in Apex, it's gonna do quite a bit to you. You'll, you'll probably die if it, if you're in, like, yeah. halfway. But in Fortnite, I think it's just, like, straight off the bat. Like, you're you're taking a lot of damage, so... I think it's, like, two or three in the first round of the Storm. Yeah, so Apex definitely gets the advantage for gameplay and the uh, circle. So. I like the guns better. That's the feel. Yeah. Like... It's just the better it's the sound person. effects too, like yeah. the sound effects in Fortnite are just old and stale. Yeah. So. Yeah, and um, now you can get legendary um weapons. You could get like um, for example, the Kraybar. Yeah, that that's insane. It's literally one twenty five anywhere except for that, which is like insane. Yeah. So with that, you cannot get any ammo for it. You have to be very precise with your shots. Same with the Mastiff. Those two only come in care packages. They're legendary. So if you see those... Usually around the end of the game, they'll come. Yeah. So if you see those, um, it depends. If you're good with shotguns, if you're good with snipers, take them. But um, if you really um, if you really just feel like <coughs> snipers, shotguns isn't your thing, don't take the Kraybar, don't take the Mastiff, maybe leave it for your teammate. Um, I'm not sure what drops in Fortnite. There's like... It's like materials... Players. Um, guns, maybe. Oh, yeah, for, and um, and building in that game. You need mats for it. It's annoying. It's dumb. That's yeah. also why Apex gets the point for no building, in my opinion. It's just annoying, honestly. Having to learn how to, like, build. Like, just learning the game, and then you have to learn how to build, which takes a lot of experience. Mm-hmm. So, um... Like, I played for, like, at least a few months, and I still couldn't get good at building. It's, yeah. it's hard. It's I hard. practiced a lot in playground mode and in game, mm -hmm. and it was still hard. Also, game modes. You can play playground, you could play... Um, there's creative. Creative, yes. There is... And then there's just, like, battle, battle royale, royale. save so, the world. Yeah, save the world. So, there's all those game modes. For the fact of the matter is that you can do a bunch of game modes. Say, if, you don't, if yeah. you're bored of battle royale, you can go on to save the world. If you don't like save the world, you can go on to is, creative, though, or you can go on to playground. Save the world costs money. That's so, true. So, yeah. Like, a lot of money, too. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it's, like, $80. Yeah. So, um, also, with that being said, I think Fortnite does deserve the point for that one. Yeah. But, um, Apex Legends is just based off of one thing. Kills aren't as satisfying in Fortnite. That's true, also. I mean, it, if you get those, like, meter, like really long snipes in Fortnite, those are sort of satisfying. Yeah, but, like, running up on someone and pumping them with a Peacekeeper and saving your squad is yeah. much more satisfying than anything in Fortnite. Mm -hmm. Also, um, when you are, uh, down, is there even any doors in Fortnite? Do you have to break them or do you open them? 
Uh, you have to open them in Fortnite. Okay. There's, there's doors. So, can you open doors when you're knocked in Fortnite? I don't think so. Okay. I don't remember. I don't know. You guys can tell <coughs> us in the comment section. Being knocked is pretty similar in both games. Yeah, but, um, you know, there's, um, there's knockdown shields for, yeah. um, Apex. There's no type of protection, is there? Well, no, in Fortnite, if you're down, like, you fall, there's a, like, a high chance you're gonna die. Yeah, okay. So, with a knockdown shield, there's, um, common, rare, legendary, and epic. I mean, epic, legendary, if you're putting it in order, but... Um, those shields do vary, so common is 100 HP, rare is 250, um, epic and legendary is 750, but the epic... You can res yourself. Yeah, so all the epic items that you get in the game, say, <coughs> no, like, um, cosmetics, but if you get, like, a golden backpack, I'll just call it golden for now, golden backpack, golden knockdown shield, golden helmet, and a golden, um, uh, body shield, those all have some special abilities, um, it, with, um, the body shield, that you fully regenerate health if you do a finisher. I think it's shield, actually. With the helmet, you get to recharge your special faster. With the knockdown shield, you could self-res yourself, but you can yeah. only use it one time. And with the backpack, which I think is the best, you get to heal, you get to use your med products faster, two times faster. So, a Phoenix kit takes 8 seconds, you'd do it in 4 seconds. A shield cell takes one, 2 seconds, you'd do it in 1 second type of thing. So, I think uh, Apex gets the win there for like, yeah. products and but stuff like that. Apex, like, the gameplay seems more like it would be a Battle Royale game. Because, like, people compare, like, the movie The Hunger Games and, like, the book series The Hunger Games to Fortnite. When, like, Apex actually feels like Hunger Games, like, the, mm -hmm. the movie, like, the layout of the map, and it's, like, actually, like, an actually, like, an intense battle royale game that's, like, like, you know, like, tactical. Mm -hmm. Fortnite's not tactical whatsoever. Yeah, and uh, both games do require some, uh, some skill. You have to get good at the games. Yeah, so, um, with the settings, uh, we talked about a field review. <coughs> Um, with the settings, you can't, uh, is there a cursor, like, in no, Fortnite? No, you have to, like, just select, like, select? the okay. or whatever, like, your... So, your, uh, if you're going through cares. items, yeah, so if you're going through items in Fortnite, that is way better than going through items in Apex, because if you open your inventory in Apex, sometimes you don't know where your cursor is going to be, you move around your stick on your controller, you're like, you're like where's my cursor? And once you find your cursor, it's super slow to get to where your inventory like, is. Yeah, so no. you can, as of now, change this cursor, cursor speed. I've searched around the settings and everywhere. I cannot find somewhere where you can change your cursor speed. If you guys have found one, please let me know. I yeah, need no. to change the speed of that. So, um, yeah, I think the wind, uh, the wind goes to Fortnite for that one. But, um... Yeah, I don't think there's much else to talk about. Yeah. So. Just there's actually dialogue. I like the character dialogue. Yeah. There's no dialogue in Fortnite. Yeah, no. That I I don't know of honestly. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it for our podcast. Now, all around, we both think that Apex is a better game than Fortnite. You guys can leave your opinions down in the comment section below. Um, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Also, subscribe to my channel and Frank's channel. Mm -hmm. I will link it in the description of my video. And uh, this will also be uploaded on his channel. Now, I'm also sorry for the... I think the um, camera might be pretty bad. Hold on. Yeah, it's all and, computer about it. Yeah, yeah. I also have one thing to add is that attachments, like, they yeah. help. And they're actually, like, you know, like, original. And they're... And they're like, barrel stabilizers. And, and there's, like, the charge thing for the peacekeeper. And yeah. it's, like, it's actually, like, genuinely helpful stuff mm -hmm. that helps you. So that's just one thing to add. Yeah, so... If you guys enjoyed, do a, you know, do exactly that. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. All right.